Welcome to the IntelliLearn video library, Calculations Involving Injections, Examples, Part 1. To calculate the volume of medication to administer by injection, you need to know the dose that the patient must receive in grams, milligrams or micrograms. This information is always provided on the medication order in the box labelled Dose. You also need to know the strength, which is also known as a concentration, of the medication in question. This information is printed on the medication as two numbers, separated by a backslash sign or sometimes the word per. The first number is a stock strength and the second number is a volume in mils. Once you have this information, you can calculate the volume to administer, which is equal to the dose that has been ordered, divided by the stock strength, multiplied by the volume over one. Let's now replace each of these quantities with their actual values by reading the medication order and the strength of the medication. The dose that has been ordered can be read directly from the medication order from the box called Dose. The Dose box specifies how much active medication the patient must be given in each dose. In this case it is 4 milligrams. The stock strength can be found in the concentration of the medication it is the first numerical value before the backslash sign. In this case, it is 10 milligrams. The volume can also be found in the concentration of the medication. It is a numerical value after the backslash sign and always specified in mils. In this case, it is two mils. The required calculation is shown. The strength or concentration of the medication specifies how much active medication in this case diazepam, is contained in a given volume of solution. 10 milligrams per 2 mils means that every 2 mils of solution contains exactly 10 milligrams of diazepam. Before actually calculating the volume to administer, it is good practice to estimate the answer. You can do this by considering the dose required and the concentration of medication. 10 milligrams in 2 mils is equivalent to 5 milligrams of diazepam in every 1 mil of solution. In other words, if you were to administer 1 mil, the patient would receive exactly 5 milligrams of diazepam. For this order, the patient must receive 4 milligrams of diazepam, and therefore, you know that you must inject less than 1 mil. To perform the calculation with a calculator, you simply need to enter 4 divided by 10, multiplied by 2, and then press equals. The calculator will display an answer of 0.8, meaning that 0.8 mils should be injected. This is in line with the earlier estimation of a volume of less than 1 mil. To perform the calculation without a calculator, you can start by cancelling the units of milligrams on the top and bottom, which leaves a final unit of mils. Now simply multiply across. 4 times 2 gives 8, and the units of mils remain, and 10 times 1 gives 10. 8 over 10 is 8 divided by 10, which is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 mils should be injected. This answer is in line with the estimation made earlier. Remember that you must always check the root box on the medication order, which will specify whether to give the injection IV, IM, or subcut.